Hello YouTube and welcome to this Melee is Bakuchi review. Thank you for tuning in. This kit is a very unique build experience. It's definitely very different from the typical Gunpla kit that you've come across. It's thanks to the mechanical industrial design inspired by Mr. Ken Okuyama-san. I actually completed the entire build in under 3 hours which was a quite a big surprise to me because I typically take a very long time to build any Gunpla kit myself. Now, in case you're wondering why this kit is a little bit more expensive compared to your typical high grade 144 scale kit, that is because this kit is actually a little bit taller and bigger in scale compared to your typical 1144 scale high grade Gunpla kit. Now let's talk about the articulation for this kit and it took me by surprise when I was building this kit is because the leg itself is bent in several places and when I was building it, trying to pose it, I kept thinking that the melee Spiakuchi is not standing up straight because it's bent on the knee and also in different places on the leg as well. And I kept trying to straighten the leg, forgetting that this is how the original design is intended. So yes, that is how the leg is supposed to be standing upright, not like a straight line as what we have come across from the typical Gunpla kit. Well, that particular design enables the melee Spiakuchi to actually bend the knee very very easily for you to replicate the Iron Man crouching pose if you choose to. The other unique design is actually in the feet itself. The feet is very unique because it comes with two independent toes and also one independent heel that you can manipulate and this actually enables the feet of the melee Spiakuchi to able to grip onto uneven surfaces when you're trying to pose with it on you know different grounds of or different surfaces that's actually very very unique okay and also when it comes to the arms and this is where the beauty of the melee bakuchi kit comes in the arm only moves up and down so this is something that i actually had a hard time getting used to as well because the gun, typical gunpla kit the arm can move a lot of places for you to move the melee bakuchi right arm to the left or the left arm to the right you actually have to move the entire arm just like a normal human movement. I thought it was actually quite unique. And by doing so, you actually trigger the movable piston in front of the torso or chest of the melee spectrum, which I will show you in a little bit while. Also interestingly, there is a movable flap protecting the joint of the arm as well. There's actually a very nice mechanical design cue there by Ken Okuyama-san and it doesn't actually impede the movement of the arm when you're lifting the arm or you're trying to have some very cool poses for that particular arm. The kit itself do come with some stickers. While there's not a lot, um, I probably wouldn't use the stickers. I'll probably paint the stickers in a little bit while later when I'm actually free. And the kit also comes with some numbers stickers as well some with the uh, drippy wet paint which i appreciate because it goes from zero to nine in two different font colors and sizes instead of just giving us zero one as what we've seen from the box art itself and this kit actually has quite a lot of cool gimmicks going for it i actually bought this kit because of this very cool portable guided missile launcher you can actually move the portable guided missile launcher from the mounted position to the front of the melee spectacle and i think that makes the kit looks very very badass and this is one of the main reasons why i actually bought this kit it looks very, very cool but unfortunately the portable guided missile launcher does not do anything else other than moving up and down towards the front of the particular melee spectacle there is also the gimmick of the movable piston as i mentioned earlier when you're moving the arm you can actually see uh, the pieces moving you actually do need to use the stickers to paint it but for me i think i'll do it um on my own free time in the near future. So that's actually how the mobile piston um, works. When you're moving the arm, let's say from the left to the right, you will be able to see the mobile piston gimmick on the torso itself. There are also pack holes on the shoulder armor, on the leg armor as well, and also on the arm. So you can actually uh, put up some future weaponry or some future armor. I'm not sure what's gonna come up from the kit series for Kyokai Senki because I guess we gotta wait for season 2. Season 1 is only up to episode 13 so far. Now the other weapon that this kit comes with is the 60mm portable auto cannon. It looks very good but what is the biggest surprise to me was actually how well and how tight the arm is in terms of holding the portable auto cannon. Compared to my experience in building the Gunpla case where you're trying to grip the hand onto the weapon itself and it keeps falling off the beam rifle, that kind of frustrates me. But with this Menace Bakuchi, it actually holds on very, very tight. And as an added bonus, you can also mount 
the beam rifle, uh, sorry, the 16mm portable auto cannon at the back of the melee spec, which is why it does look very, very badass. And this particular kit also comes with a very small portable shield. So I'm not sure why. I'm not sure whether this kit is a melee unit, pun intended, because this kit. Um, yeah, it, it hasn't actually showed up in Season 1 of the show itself. But the good thing is, with this portable shield, you can actually plug it into the different peg holes of this particular design because the peg holes on the legs, on the arms, and also on the shoulder are all the same dimension. Finally, my issues with this kit is quite minor. My first grab is actually at the portable auto cannon. While there are no opening gimmicks, which is fine, I kind of wish that Barnett could have given us different or better cut color part separation for this particular kit. As you can see there, it's actually grey in the middle of the portable auto cannon which you're supposed to use a sticker. But if you look closely at the box art, yeah, it's actually blue which looks a lot nicer. Second minor grab is actually the back skirting armor. It only moves up and down and it doesn't really move side to side which is kind of a bummer because given the price, I kind of expected a little bit more movement but to be very frank, it's a very small grab. Overall, the kit itself is a very sturdy kit. The joints are very, very tight. It's very different from what we've seen and played before in terms of your typical Gunpla kit. And if you are new to this series, I would definitely highly recommend picking up any of the Boundary Wars or Kyokai Senki kits to build because from all of the different designs that I've seen and picked up on, they are all of them actually have very similar stiff joints, very very tight, no loose joints anywhere itself. If Bandai could replicate this in the future Gunpla designs, I think that would be really really awesome. I will also highly recommend you checking out the Kyokai Senki series which is on YouTube now, so episode 5. The entire storyline is also very similar to I Am Blood Offense where the story is about three young child soldiers you know battling against the government so again it is the me versus the world we are always uh, you know rooting for the underdogs which are the terrorist organization as we're seeing here and the overall kit itself the proportions looks very very nice while there aren't a lot of details for this particular kit the melee spacochi is definitely very strong and very stiff joints that you can actually play around with for quite some time it feels like a figure more than a plastic model kit to be honest so that's a quick review of the melee spacochi i hope you guys go and pick this kit up and try it out so if you guys have watched the show Please let me know what you think of the first 5 episodes. I actually watched all 13 episodes and I can't wait for season 2 to see what happens for the big cliffhanger at the end of season 1. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new to our channel, you know what to do. And for the rest of you, I'll see you down at the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy.